Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and welcome to We Are BCSO. As everyone knows, the Brevard County Sheriff's Office is comprised of hundreds of men and women who bring many different talents to our team. We come from every walk of life and we are united by our commitment to keep Brevard County safe. The ultimate key to our success is how every member in every unit in our agency works together to reduce crime, enforce the law, and save taxpayers thousands of dollars, all while creating a better quality of life for our citizens and visitors. Welcome to We Are BCSO. So today we're taking a behind the scenes look at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office Aviation Unit that works 365 days a year, 24 hours a day to keep our community and deputies safe from harm. I have with me today our Chief Pilot, John Coppola, who not only supervises our aviation unit and flies missions, but also helps keep our operational costs down through his efforts of working with our military partners on the 1033 program. John, thank you for all you do, my brother. I know you do a great job out here. Thank you, sir. Um, tell, uh, tell everybody a little bit about what the aviation unit does. Well, the aviation unit um, operates 24-7, basically, and supports all the municipalities in the county as well as the sheriff's office needs for airborne law enforcement. We also partner up with uh, BCFR to provide firefight and support with the UE behind us over here. The air unit stays quite busy. We, uh, we're here, we answer calls for everyone and um, from the more minute things like photo flights sometimes to something more high profile, which you'll see sometimes car chases and, and uh, some of the rescue work we've done over the years. A lot of people don't know that we, um, we have the, the type of helicopters we have, so give me a little um, breakdown on, on what type of helicopter it is and, and uh, also our Hewitt. Well, over here is an OH-58 observation helicopter, basically OH. Um, these aircraft were all um, gotten from the military surplus program. The one down the end over there was actually shot down twice in Vietnam before it was given to us and repaired out in Texas. The aircraft have a lot of technology in them. They're old machines, but they're good machines. They're taken care of well. We have mechanics here at the hangar. We keep the cost down by using the military program to support us with parts, too. We buy the OH-58s for $500. Yes, sir. Um, when we buy them, we buy a couple of them, um, two or three of them, so that we can cannibalize them for the parts and everything else. Uh, through that and through really your leadership, we're able to keep our operational costs down to about, if you take out salaries and benefits, about $200,000 a year, which is, yes, is pretty profound for operating as much as we do. I think it's probably the cheapest in the state if you looked at it. I think we got the lowest cost in the state. Like how long does it take for you to get from here to be airborne and who's in it? Who's riding with us? Well, to start off with, uh, one of these little electric tugs will grab it. In about two and a half minutes or so, we can get the aircraft up in the air and on its way. There's a pilot and a TFO on board the aircraft. The TFO does everything on the left side, which means basically mapping, finding, all the tactical work with the camera, and the pilot stays concentrated on his flying while he's operating the aircraft. So cockpit resource management, he's got a job, I've got a job. But I think their job's a lot harder than my job is flying. I mean, it's very difficult, especially at night, to be able to operate a camera in that type of environment. Now, one of the things I love about our unit is we actually have a partnership with uh, some of our local police departments because we'll fly missions for them as well. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about that partnership. Um, a couple of the police departments have um, TFOs that they give us that have been trained and been with us for many years. And of course, it cuts down the operational costs for the sheriff's office and also gives us a great liaison with the police department so we can work better with them when we operate up in their city working calls. That, that officer is fantastic. I mean, it's great to have them on board to be able to tell me what's going on and who's down there. And, and um, it's worked out great over the years for us. So let's, uh, let's walk over to, um, to the Huey over here. And uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of people don't know is, historically speaking, we would do um, uh, water rescues by landing one of our OH-58s. It was uh, retrofitted with pontoons. Yes, sir. Um, it makes it extremely difficult and dangerous for the pilot and uh, the tactical flight officer and anybody else we bring on board. Um, when, we, when we acquired the Huey in 2013, kind of brought a new dynamic to us of being able to do water rescues. Walk me through a water rescue now. Um, water rescue is a little bit different, a little safer now, I think, too. This aircraft has got an internal rescue hoist on it, which was also acquired from the military at no cost. And, of course, it's an expensive gadget, over $200,000. But now when we get a call, we pull the UE out. We have a crew on board that's trained to operate the hoist. We have fire department personnel that can come with us that are nearby on the field in case we have someone who's injured. 
And now all the work's done with the hoist instead of doing what we did before and use the OH-58. You know, before we could get maybe one or two people on board, now we're looking at six or seven people that we could rescue right now. What's the greatest thing about uh, uh, not just your role as a chief pilot, but um, being a pilot? You know, um, the flying's great. I love the flying, but um, it's, it's a great feeling if you save somebody that's in a bad spot. That's probably the thing I love the most. That and uh, I like seeing bad guys go to jail, to be perfectly honest with you. When we, when we chase something down that, that was really hard to catch, especially you know, nowadays, you know, we don't like to pursue vehicles anymore, so, and we still want to catch the person, so the aircraft comes in handy with chases like that, where we can still keep an eye on the guy. Well, John, I want to, I want to not only thank you for uh, your job you do out here, but for your years of service to the Sheriff's Office. How many total years? Tell everybody how many total years. In my 40th year. 40th year. Um, you got a long way to go yet. I've been Sheriff since 2013, and you haven't let me fly yet, so do you, uh, you think I could maybe fly before we, uh, before we leave today? Sheriff, I say this with all due respect, but uh, absolutely not. Oh, thank you, my friend. Well, can I at least <laughs> can I at least sit in one of them? I think we could work that out. Maybe we'll teach you to operate the hoist today. How's all that? Right, that's perfect. So, okay. You're not going to see these guys um, out in patrol cars in your neighborhood, but rest assured, these Brevard County Sheriff's Office staff and deputies make a huge difference behind the scenes as proud members of our aviation unit. They are a perfect example of how our team works together to reduce crime and create a better quality of life for our citizens. We are BCSO!